All right, everybody, I'm back. Let's get into this one. This is the Jim Rouch from To Catch a Predator interview. We're going to make fun of this, as we always do, and let's go. So you just were out driving? No, no, I don't want to admit, admit that. Okay. Okay. Did you come up to see, see somebody today? Uh, somebody invited me to come over. Okay. Well, who was that? Uh... Cheyenne something. Okay. How'd you meet uh how'd you meet Cheyenne? I was online came up. Okay. Um when you were online do you do you do that at home or do you I do it at home. You do it at home? Okay. Yes. Do you, is that generally the only place you do it? Yes. Okay. What do you have, you have your own personal computer or laptop? Yes. It's a both. Oh do you have you have both? I actually have two laptops. Okay, two laptops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you just, I, it's my business. Okay, it's your business. Okay. What? Right. What? He does have a lot of really odd facial expressions. If you watch him, and I'm not one of these people that says he's doing this face, and that means X Y Z. It means if he's blinking too much, it means he's nervous. If he's looking around, he's lying. I don't. I don't do that. I just make fun of videos. But. You're right, Andy, in the chat. He says that he has a bizarre facial expressions and like when he says, oh, and I need to do that. Like he'd sort of like jump forward. Like, you know, I, I don't know what it is, but I think he's nervous out of his mind, but eventually in this, he does relax and he almost feels like he's like performing like a comedy routine almost like, like he starts acting really weird. Like he's talking to his best friends at a bar or something and, you know, tries to win them over where they're like, oh yeah, we like Jim. He's awesome. We're just going to let him go. Let's just forget the fact that he was trying to hook up with a 12 year old and all this other disgusting stuff from his chat log or that hour long phone call that he had with a kid who he thought was a kid where he said a lot of disturbing things. I mean, this guy is not innocent, no matter how likable he tries to come off as with his, you know leather jacket and the uh mustache is strangely incredibly straight cut what type of business i i do web pages for for university of cincinnati i have access to those those uh, if you look at, if you look right here you know how i got these cars i was talking to an underage girl <laughs> it's not funny but it does keep Distracting me that he has like the Joker scars on the side of his lip. I need to have access to them mm -hmm. in order to do the business with them. Mm -hmm. with them. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that there's plenty of 12 year olds on the University of Cincinnati, you know, DM group or Slack or whatever people use to talk, Discord or something. I don't know what they use because I haven't been in college since well, 15 years probably. But I'm just going to throw a random guess and say it's probably Slack or WhatsApp. I'm sure there's plenty of 12-year-olds in there. And you usually use all those computers to chat to people or chat or you just use one, one specific or? Um, usually at home. Okay, usually at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And? If I, if I do chat, if which do I, don't, I don't do. But that, again, because of the fact of the business that I'm in, mm -hmm. chat is a part of what I do. And chat is a part of University of Cincinnati distance learning. Okay. And, and I need to be able to do to access that okay. in order to be able to do the business I do. The business I do. Okay. Well, you don't got to worry about that anyway because he probably got fired right after this got out. Because the thing is, people are wondering where's the original thing where he went to the house. Jim is one of the types, one of the very few people caught by Chris Hansen that was too stupid to find the house. <laughs> So no, he basically drove around for like an hour cussing and fussing at somebody they thought was 13 or 12 or 14. It doesn't matter. The underage girl. And he basically just like drove around in circles for like an hour until the cops finally felt bad for him and picked him up. I mean, that's what they really did. So he's one of the few that didn't even make it to the house because he got lost. With them. Okay. Um, so you met? So to answer that question, no, there is no Jim Rouch. To catch a predator episode where he talked to Chris Anson never happened. So you met Cheyenne. I didn't met meet Cheyenne. She she had, came after me. Okay, she came after you. Tell me about that. I don't I don't know. I don't exactly how it happened at all. Okay. I have no 
recollection at all what happened for her to make contact with me. I don't know, was I on, was I on some line of some sort? I have no idea. Okay. So you you were chatting and she came on she came on to you while you were chatting some sometime? Well somebody whatever who that sign is. Okay. Do you do you know how old China Ann was? She told me she was thirteen, but I And that should have been the end of the conversation. As soon as someone says, I'm 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like, goodbye. <laughs> I don't even know if you say goodbye to him, honestly. I mean, I would, I've, I'll, I'll admit that we, when we had a Discord, there was a hard rule that was like, if you're in here, you are thought of to be over 18. Like, it was like the top of the rule list. If you, you cannot be in here if you're under 18. And I had a couple of people that did DM me and confess that they were under 18. I was like, you know what? You're kicked out. You're banned. Goodbye. You know, sorry. Come back when you're 18. And that just immediately blocked them. And even that was too much saying to them, honestly, because you just, there's no reason to be interacting with someone under 18 on the internet, unless they are your, your child or your relative or somebody that you are like familiarly or professionally attached to like i mean like if you if they do all that texting stuff now like better help right so if like you're the kid's therapist or you're their teacher that's not trying to get with them that's just sending them their homework assignment or something you know something like that it's fine but for like this is the thing jim rouch worked or roush whatever worked for the university of cincinnati there is no 13 year old that goes to the university of Cincinnati. So therefore there's no reason for him to be talking to any 13 year olds. That's what I'm getting at. I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to text your own kids or your own like aunt or uncle or whatever, but I'm just saying like when it comes to strangers on the internet, especially with no IRL ties, you shouldn't be talking to them for any reason beyond get off the internet blocked seriously. But like he continued. Like even, I don't even, I would not even feel comfortable. I don't even feel comfortable talking to people that are like 19 or 20 on the internet because I'm 35. What do I have to say to a 20 year old? You know what I mean? What, what are we going to talk about? Fricking TikTok and K-pop or something. All, all this kitty crap that I don't, I don't care about. Uh, Hey Zoe, how you doing? I mean, if they watch the show, cool, but don't get in my DMs. Don't come in there. Uh-uh. First thing I usually ask them, how old are you? <laughs> Immediately. Don't come in here with that. Nope. But no, nah, Jim was looking for it. He was looking for it because the thing is the perverted justice people. And this is something that I think most people don't know is they would go into chat rooms and say that they were this age, but they never DM the person first. Like they never seek out the predator, the pre the best could throw out a line saying, Hey, I'm whatever, you know, 13 female, whatever, wherever this was Cincinnati, that's where he works. And then the predators will go and like talk to them in DMS or whatever, but like they never seek them out because that'll be stupid. I mean, that'll be, that'll be dumb trying to find, you know, trying to seek them out. Cause how do you know who the predator is It's a lot easier for them to come to you. So he's lying. Hey, Marta, how you doing? Good morning. I was going to start doing morning shows. Cause I just feel like they're, they're better for me personally. And then I was very, 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 I don't, I don't do that. You got a lot more yeah, energy yeah. in I the don't morning. Want to do that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there. You're not there. No, uh -uh, not at all. Uh, I'd be happy. You know, like give me a, give me an 18, 19 year old and I'll be happy. Oh yeah. Okay. 13 year olds. I'm guys. It's gross. Not, not true. Jim. You are 50 some years old, maybe even 60. You shouldn't even be talking to 18 or 19 years old. I know that people are like, Johnny, it's legal. I don't care. I don't care that it's legal. I do not care at all. If there's an age gap over 10 years, you should not be considering them a, a partner. I mean, really I'm 35. What am I going to do with the 25 year old? What am I going to do with that? You know what I mean? He's talking about like something that's like over half his age if the if the girl is 18 double her age will be 36 he's 56 you know what i mean if you go out in public with your girlfriend and they confuse you for father and daughter or grandfather and granddaughter there's a problem there is a problem your thing yeah 
And when you were talking to Cheyenne on the chat, chat line, what did you guys talk about? Well, and up until this afternoon, which was, uh, I don't know what I, I, I gave in for, but I thought, thought she was more like a, an adult. But um, no, I, 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 I was very, very cautious not to, not to be there. I didn't want to be there. You didn't want to be there? Well, I wasn't there, not because I didn't want to be there. Well, I was actually probably of age. I was probably underage when this was taped, but I wasn't there because I didn't want to be there, didn't know about it, and if I did hear about it, I wouldn't have been there anyway, but that's the thing. I didn't want to be there with the 13-year-old. Then why were you? No, what did she do? Like, pull a gun through your, e like, come out of your Ethernet cord with a gun and say, come here with me? <laughs> you weren't even there anyway. You got lost on the way, idiot. Jesus. I really don't. I really, that's not, not, not my thing. I don't like it. I don't want it. Don't want it. Oh, it was work. But you might have to get a little, curi a little curiosity? No, I don't even, I'm, even I'm, not, I'm not even curious here. I don't even uh, do we need to pull the tape, like the tape of him talking to this 14 year, 13 year old? Cause all right, just really quick, just for context, this is, we're going to play like 10 seconds of this phone call. And you tell me if he really thought that he was talking to an of age woman. Uh, I got a feeling I went too far. Okay. Okay. There is... Hello. Hi. Hi. I bet, I'm, I bet this is Cheyenne. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Not much. What are you doing? Doesn't sound like a of age woman to me. It sounds like an eight year old actually, but I mean he was still into that. And that's like an hour long phone call. We'll do that at a different time, but I just wanted y'all to hear who he thought he was talking to when he keeps saying, I don't want to be there. That's too young. I'm not into that. I don't have any curiosity about it. It's it's too young, it's 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 stupid. Okay. And now you can go back and look at all the records of the conversations I've had. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I said. It's it's stupid. Okay. I, I don't. That's not what I want to be. Okay. You know, I don't even like. I don't even. I don't even. That's not. That's not me. Is that you? No, not at all. Uh, do you have any type of webcam or anything like that? I do have a webcam. Okay. Okay. Um, do you ever use it? For any, for any purposes? Or? It's a, it's available. Okay. Use it. I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> right. So we, we didn't we didn't get into what you guys talked about. What, what you guys talked about? I was very very up until today, which is obviously the reason the results have come. I have been very very cautious of not talking about anything. I do not want to be involved with a 13-year-old. I do not like it. I don't want it. And I, for some reason, I just, I just gave, re relaxed and... So who do you think you were talking to? Another person. Another person. Really, that's perfect. I mean, that's honest with you. I don't know. For whatever worth value that is, okay. I don't. I, mean, I, I, I don't. I I cannot condone the 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 statements that I would have made this afternoon to her. I I, would, I wish I could retract them. Yeah. Not because of you guys. Yeah. But because of the fact that I I I just don't. That's not it. That's not me. I don't. I don't see it. I don't, Jim, I understand, All right? And I, I'm, you're, you, you, I understand you, you made a mistake, okay? I've read the chats. Right. Okay? So you I, can see I, how. You know, you know I, I see here where you, you told her that you wanted to go around and that you. We're, we're, they're more, they're more provoked at. Yeah. I mean, you, we can go down the, I, yeah. I'm not going to go to the details of the thing. Yeah. I, I, I understand what you got. Yeah. And I, I know what you got. I'm, I'm just trying, to, I'm just trying to understand here. I, you know, I, I, I did not, I did not meet with her, number one. Number two, I, I didn't really want to meet with her. Okay. It was, it was, I, I really, if you go to the, the bottom lines of things, talk, let, let's talk about facts that I denied and I did not want to do that. 
I really did not want to. Jim, I know you're under a lot of pressure right now. I'm, I'm not sure under your pressure wife, at all. I, well, I'm, not, I'm really not. I mean, obviously being here is a little bit yeah. of pressure, but that's not. Are you married? Yes. No. No. God, no. You want her? You can have her. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got, I got one of my own. I, I, that's enough for me. You see, he's trying yeah, to, he's he's trying to relax and trying to be funny and trying to, to, uh, to make these people think that, you know, that he's a likable guy. And, uh, he just, that was a mistake. We're just going to let him go. We're just going to, you know, he's already, he's already been arrested. That's the thing. Once you're arrested, they don't just like turn you loose just because they like you. You know what I mean? I mean, that, that'd be amazing if that's how it worked. You know, if he's like, all right, you're going to jail, but if you make us laugh, we'll let you go. <laughs> I'll be, <laughs> I'll go rob a bank right now in Minecraft if that's how things worked. If I could just get out of jail free for making them laugh, but that's not how it works, Jim. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. 2024, I don't even have a webcam. You know, I don't even like have a monitor or anything. Like, if you saw my setup, I'm sitting in a recliner and I have a 55 inch. 4k tv in front of me and have two giant speakers in front of me from jbl and i have like my expensive computer and all that but like there's no webcam like there's no way to set up a webcam in here where it would look good like because i'm literally like eight feet away from my tv so like there's no way to make it look good so just give her ammunition that's all well, i'm not trying to give no ammunition for nobody this is just me you and kate here okay well, it's not, but well, okay. I did not do anything to this, whatever this person is, whoever it is. I did not intentionally okay. meet with, I met with this person because this person, whoever it is, male or female, whatever, enticed me to the point where I wanted to. And bro, she start. she said she was 13. How did you even con continue the conversation? It even remotely think it was enticing or if it was a good idea or if it sounded good, you know what I mean? Like I can't even imagine being friends with the 13 year old, let alone having deep, long conversations with one or even have anything more than goodbye, you know, block or whatever, you know, I, I, did you, so you guys did talk about sexual acts. In your conversations. I don't know that. Okay. You can go back. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't look and I'm, I don't know. I don't I really don't know. It doesn't really, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, I, Jim, I'm just trying to figure out what really happened. Because if, well, if we don't talk about it now, and if I just give this to somebody, they're going to think you are a sick, maybe possibly a child predator. And I don't think you're that point, okay? I'm not. And you're not. But if we don't talk about it, what else? Tell me. What else can I tell people? Saying, you know, Jim, I, Jim made a mistake. This I didn't follow happen. through. Number one. Number two. Yeah. Number two. Um, the, because the fact I didn't follow through was okay. is I'm not so sure that I wasn't turned down the street right when he was picked up. Yeah. Um, if you if you check back on the, on the records. You, on, on the, the results, there have been three, three at least three times where I where I turned around, and I, I I'm not I'm, I don't do this. I don't number one. I don't really want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me some sex. Okay, and I'll find ways to do the sex, but don't don't not, not this use thing. Okay. This is crap. This is really, really crap. If nobody stopped you tonight. What do you think might have happened? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. And I'll be honest with you about that. I, I, I nothing. Nothing would have happened. <coughs> uh, okay. God, this, is this a place to tell the stories? Yes. As good as place as any. Jim, we're just trying to be honest with each other. I went to a swingers club last night and walked out. Up in Dayton, Ohio, Kentucky? Mm -hmm. Dayton, Ohio. I walked out. I, 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 and the reason I walked out is because no, it's not for me. I'm I'm not selective. I don't want you to think of it as being selective. I'm just I'm looking for some 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 satisfaction of some somebody. 
Yeah, and, 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 and I'm not looking, and again, my own motivation is not not to, to, to um, just find somebody who, who's, who's, who's interested in me. Okay, not, 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 not young, not old, not fat, not thin, not someone who is interested in, in who I am. And that's where I am. And how long are you and your wife been divorced? Jim, you are way too old, fat, and ugly to be that picky. I'm just saying right now, bro. By the way, he talked about, oh, well, I went to a swingers club and, you know, I immediately walked out. Yeah, because nobody wanted to bang you, bro. Most swingers clubs are one of two things. Actually, I've never been to one, but I'm going to take a wild guess. Because <laughs> I figure swingers clubs sound pretty nasty if you think about it. If they're just, you know, banging random people at a club, it just sounds gross to me. Like, you know. But it's probably most likely really old people or really young people. Like, but yeah, it probably is mostly like really old people and he didn't want no old folks. Honestly, I can't, Im I've never met anyone my age. I'm 35. So I've never met anyone 35 or anywhere in the 35 to 45, 25, whatever radius. I've never met anyone period online or otherwise that w went to a swingers club ever. No, never seen it, you know? So it probably is older folks because the younger folks ain't doing it. And my age group isn't doing it. And he probably went in there and just saw a bunch of old folks banging. And he's just like, no, nah, no, nah, too old, too old. Like he really still thinks he's like a cool 20, like 20 some year old professor or something that can, you know, probably molested a lot of his students. If you, you really think about it, probably did. Or been separated. Or we've been, we've been divorced for, um, 2000, was it? Four years, five, almost four, almost five years. Five years ago. And I've had, other, I've had, I've had relationships with other women. It's not, it's not that. It's not sexual thing at all. What, is, what is it? There's somebody, and I, and I, I guess, I'm, and I'm, I put this out. Maybe this isn't the right place for doing it, but. Cheyenne, whoever Cheyenne is, some George down the hall, talked to me. And when that person talked to me, it was a person. Now, I have other people that I talk to, and for whatever that's worth, and I don't want to bring them into this, but... but it made you feel good, didn't it? It, it? it kept me away from that loneliness that I have. When, I, when I'm sitting in my house by myself. And, uh, Jim, I know all about loneliness. I know all about not having anyone to talk to. I mean, Dad died in June, and you know, that was a pretty big blow. And, you know, after a lot of nonsense that happened earlier this year with those trolls and everything, that, you know, got rid of a lot of my quote-unquote friends that were just, you know, fair weather or whatever. I know about loneliness, Jim know all about it and it does suck not having someone to talk to you know daily or whatever but you know what jim never went after a kid never went after a kid never even thought about it you know it's like me and nico broke up and what was it around june as well and we've talked once since then and that didn't you know the reconnection failed so um yeah you know whatever but i never seeked out a kid i mean if that's your thing jim it's like i get it loneliness sucks it really sucks you know what i mean not not having people to talk to or hang out with it sucks but <laughs> this you don't seek out kids to fill that void jim that's the thing nobody to talk to yeah you feel that lonely feeling and you know and whatever whatever and however that comments itself and she try and feel that didn't she she fulfilled that that need yeah, but then it turns around because of to this this crap, which well, is, which which I understand you made for doing it. I, I I I don't I don't I don't. So you, I think so there's a need alone. for there's there's a need for people out there, and um, yeah, and um, that need is fulfilled by. And, 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 and the law enforcement, by the way, I'm in criminal justice. I have to tell you that. That's the bottom line. But, right. but, but, but I am. I, I, at UC, I work for the criminal justice department. Um, 
So he taught criminal justice at University of Cincinnati, but he did not understand that you have the right to remain silent. And you should shut up as soon as the cops want to talk to you. He taught people how to get to become a cop, but didn't know you should shut up and didn't shut up and didn't know that cops do not unarrest people for, you know, their performance during the interrogation. He should have known all this. He's a professor. Good Lord. There is a need for, 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 for people in this society to have, have, have a connection with somebody. And I don't care. I don't want that where that connection comes from. I, I think is, is, is crucial. And that's where I've got fucked up, you know, but don't judge me on that. I'm not, ju I'm not uh, judging you. I know, I know, I, I know you're not, I know, but eventually I will be. So, yeah. And, and I know that system, how it works. Um, but Jim, I, I can understand that, you know, when you're feeling lonely and you, have, you feel like you have, you know, you're spot, do you, you just live by yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you feel that lonely man, you go home every night, yeah. you're feeling lonely, you talk to Cheyenne. Or whoever. And whoever, you know, you're chatting to Cheyenne here. You feel like you can feel, do you feel like you can feel open to say things? Right. And, 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 and I don't, and I don't, you know, and I think it's unfair of the, of the, of the, the justice systems to, to condemn me for talking to somebody. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. It's wrong of the justice system to judge him for trying to groom an underage girl that was 13 years old. That's his argument that he should be able to just do like, there's no way quote unquote Cheyenne was the first one. You know, he probably has a long list that we never found out about. Cause he's dead by the way. Uh, I forgot what it exactly killed him, but I'm pretty sure he's dead and he did pretty sure Jim is dead. I think it was like, didn't he stop taking his medicine or something? That was one of them did that. No, I don't. Is he dead? No, I don't think he's dead. I'm looking at the wiki right now. This someone called him on the phone in 2019. But I don't see nothing about him being dead. I thought he was dead. He might be. I don't know. <laughs> Here's something interesting though. An anonymous user on the TCAP forums to catch predator form claimed to be Rouch's cellmate at one point, basically describing him as the exact same in prison as he was in the interview an incessant talker an arrogant buffoon and somebody convinced that he had done nothing wrong so that's probably about right but um that doesn't say anything about his dad so maybe he's not dead okay i thought he was dead um if it's, it's underage I, I can understand that and I, I know that's where you come in um my relationship that they create was created by with my relationship to 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 Cheyenne was because of the fact that I that I closed that out and I I, I fault you guys with that because uh, of the investigations or how you do that is that that person who, who's making those communications starts to connect with the person mm -hmm. And that connect and that connection that that you make is not is and maybe maybe with the perverted people is 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 one that's it's really negative. But with a person with a person like me, it connects. Mm -hmm. it's, there's somebody who's talking, to you. and um, I don't. Know. You do what you have to do. Let's let's cut the bullshit and let's go. I'm I mean, I'm just I'm I'm to the point. You know, I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to get back to my, my ex-wife. I wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah. I have people who, who don't want to talk to me anymore. I don't care. So I have I have somebody who's shy and who to, to talk to or whoever it is, you know, whoever is shy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, maybe I went over the border, and um, if I did, that's what I'm paying. I'm paying the price. So you spend a lot of time chatting. I don't know what a lot, a lot of time is. Um, I, I guess it's relative to. It really, it really it, is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, probably a couple hours a day. Yeah. Maybe three. And 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 and, and most of it's not chatting. Mm -hmm. Most of it's just trying to find someone who wants to talk. Yeah. And I think that's a I think that's a major problem too. What do you generally talk about with 
Cheyenne or other people. Um, just what whatever comes Any, up. Anything. Anything. Music. The weather. <laughs> you know, yeah. really. You know, it, it really is. Um, I'm trying. You know, I'm going really, to really be awesome about that. I don't. I don't think it's going to go any further. I mean, I mean you know, you're doing this great, wonderful thing. You're going to find out the answers to the world on on chatting, but it's a, it's a whole world out there, and um, I have I have some real problems with what's going on right here, um, because I think it's an invasion, an invasion of, of privacy. Not not in terms of the. The, the 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 younger age. I think that somebody else should have stopped that before I got done. Well, I'm not a chatter. Okay. So if you could educate me a little bit on, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look you know, where where would you go to okay. find in somebody the case, to talk In the case of the Cheyenne thing, mm -hmm. um, that was done through Yahoo, Yahoo Messenger. Mm -hmm. Who has? If you're 18, you're not allowed here. If you are, uh, if this in the sessions, adult, can, adult, Kentucky. And I, in 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 that regard, I, that's where I really come off with, with I think it's it's not fair for you to come at me. Um, I'm, except for the fact that up front, because of the way you guys do the way you do things, you make, make sure that you say it's 13, 14, whatever. But sh it shouldn't be there in the first place. If, if you, if you, if it's going to be a, le if it's going to be something that legally com binds Yahoo or Goggle or whoever it happens to be. Goggle. Doggle, Google, Jesus Christ, Jim, you work, you work in tech at the University of Cincinnati. You know it's not Goggle. He's trying to act like he's stupid. Well, he is stupid, but still. To be an adult place to go. Goggle. Then, if I go there, and you even say that you're 13, why are you there in the first? How did you get through that first? That first level, and and I really, have a, I really have a, a problem with that. Um, I, you guys have heard this over and over and over. I, I'm really interested in knowing how this chat thing works and how you met Cheyenne. Uh, what type? I, have, is I, there I don't have any idea. I uh, go back to that. I don't know. I don't know what initiated the first conversation with Cheyenne. I don't. I don't. You did. You saw a picture of a 13 year old girl, and you're like. Ooh, she looks good. And then you went into a freaking chat and like started talking to her like all these other predators did. I'm sure there's a chat log out there of Jim Rouch where we basically would know exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, it's Goggle. <laughs> Swoony turn the chat. Yeah, sure. It's Goggle. Go to goggle.com and see what happens. I'm not going to do that. Probably would. I'm sure plenty of old folks go to goggle.com trying to look stuff up. Hey, Lori. Remembrances. It could have been three weeks ago. It could have been a week ago. I have no idea. But, but I know that maybe I went through and I looked and, and I went down my, 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 my list of people who were adult camps. And I said, hey, you interested in talking? Boom. Webcam available. And she got the, the name came up. So you could tell that they had a webcam? Yes, you can tell that. Okay. So that's something that you look for no, when you no, talk no, to no. people? I don't, no, 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 no. I don't look for it. I don't oh, look okay. for it. No, I look for somebody to talk to. You know? And, um, but if they have a webcam, even better? It, no, no. It, it doesn't really matter. It oh. really doesn't matter. It means that they're probably a prostitute and they're, they're putting their stuff out in the camp. Uh, Most likely, it means that it doesn't mean a thing at all. Okay. So what happens after that? Kind of like her okay, number. I put up a message out and they respond. And, her, and uh, Cheyenne responds. 
what happens after that? I'm I'm not tax I'm not tax savvy. Uh, so okay, okay, okay. So so Sean responds. She says, Hi, how are you? Hi. Yeah, what you doing? And it go and it goes from there. And then, you know, if 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 they're if they're in the legal system and they're they're taking care of their little little niches that they need to take care of, say, so, Well, hey, I'm only thirteen. Oh, that's okay. Still want to talk to you. How, what, what's going on? How was school today? And I and I don't mean that. I don't. That sounds so trite. And it doesn't. And it doesn't mean in terms of me. I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher. Yeah. Done it. How was How was your school today? Is not. Well, let me get into you. It's not it. It's understanding that person. And 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 I I guess I guess that's what the because they have social needs too. Just they have like social you. needs. Here, okay, and then in the in what is present to me from Cheyenne or whoever it is. I didn't know this, but perverted justice actually went under. I don't know how you could go under if you're a nonprofit or whatever, but they ceased operations for whatever reason. And since the archive.org, you know, the Wayback Machine has basically been killed as well. I'm guessing these chat logs are gone forever unless someone did it like YouTube things or somebody. I'm sure there's somebody out there that has a Google Drive full of all the chat logs that they downloaded, you know, archived somewhere, but I can't find it right offhand right this second to see how that started. But um, it would be interesting to see Jim's chat log to see how it really did start because, I mean, we know he's full of it to begin with. I mean, we obviously know that, but... Right now, I don't have anything to pull up to prove how it started, but I'm pretty sure it was, hey, hey, how are you doing? How old are you? I'm 13. How old are you? I'm 50-something. You know, whatever. Is, here's this girl, supposedly girl, who supposed, supposedly is going through a divorce, whose parents are separated, not as an opportunity for me as a predator to go after them, but as a person... To, to try and answer questions and then and then and I You're just helping them. Except for like I said this afternoon, which which I, I went on the way over. And I only went overboard because of the fact that I um, personally was frustrated. But that's the end So do you see your role as helping them through their life as well as them helping you? I'm always doing that. That's the person I am. Sounds like you've done it for many years. I mean, you've helped people, you know. 30, 40 years. Huh. And not on the internet, but, but, but yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying in yeah. your life. In your lifetime, you... Am I still alive? Yeah, we're live right now. It's 11.35 a.m. You've helped many, many people. To my colleague, it's next door to me. I, I'm, helping, I'm helping her do what she needs to do. I'm just, I mean, this is a really long one, so that's why I'm kind of not interjecting as much, because... We got to get through this. <laughs> this thing is how long? Like two hours? Yeah, like two hours long. So I'm interjecting, you know, when I need to, to, you know, say something. But right now I'm letting Jim just basically hang himself on. He already was years ago, but still, that's the um, the fun of watching this. I've seen this, this freaking back and forth at least 10 times now, front to back. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a bad person. <laughs> you are come on now by the way i did find out that there is a thing called the lost media wiki and they do have a lot of the tcap logs um i don't know if they have them in text but i did click on one of them uh, on my phone and it directed to a video uh, that was a reading and the problem with tcap is youtube loves predators so it's really hard to um do these as like a big thing like you can't do like catfish where we can watch like 100 episodes of this safely because youtube is infamous for basically well they banned me i mean they already banned me once for to catch predator oh i mean i'm kind of playing with fire even doing this you know even watching this again but i'm just so bored with catfish and i don't know what else to do and you know i, I figured tcap is at least fun you know if the if the show is going to go under it might as well have fun on the way down but uh, yeah. Or not. Um, and and I didn't hurt her. I hurt whoever the whoever this Cheyenne was, which was, and I knew it. I don't know. Maybe maybe in the in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I'm I I, just, I I I knew this was bad. I knew this was bad. 
and in the in the back of my mind, I did. knew what was bad. It was all set up. Oh, talking with her was a setup. Yeah, from the beginning. <clears throat> I, and 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 in in that in that set in that in that in that frame, I was hoping that it wasn't. But in the the, the, the good nature that I am, I, I you know, not so much. Of I really wanted to help. I I, I you know. How, how are you going to help her tonight? I don't know. Tonight. Mm -hmm. Talk with her. Talk with her about this divorce thing that her parents were going through. So you have now admitted what time is it in New York? What time is demonstrating where Johnny is? Hi, I'm from Germany. Um, New York time and my time are the same time. So it's 1138 AM right now. And Marta is also from Germany, I believe. So whatever time it is in Germany, minus what I just said, 1138 AM. But, um, yeah, like he's seriously just, he's basically admitting that he found a girl that had divorced parents that he knew was in a vulnerable emotional state and that's what he used to like latch onto her and like he was going to try to groom her basically being like poor baby divorce sucks you know here go down on this just i mean i'm not even trying to be funny i mean that's literally what he did i mean might be a little funny but just the way i said that but no that's what he's trying to do he's just he seek this girl out and he knew what he was doing and he knew how to target uh these people like how he knew what he was doing basically there is no there is no oops <laughs> the oops guy what was his name uh the guy the apes uh this one or something that, that, no, that's harry sasson he probably is one too but um god what was that what was this guy he had like the head injury and oops he got caught twice by chris Hansen. <laughs> Oh God, that, that won't take any amount of time to look up, but keep going. I mean, really, uh, that was, that was my gist. Do you think it could have been Michael Seibert? I was close. It, it was Michael Seibert. It wasn't Michael. The son It's uh, Michael Seibert it was, uh, the oops predator. More? No, no, no. Got it. Okay. He was only five foot four. Michael uh, Seibert was, Jesus. And let me go back to who was talking about last people. I went to, like I said, a swingers club last night and David. I walked out. Because they didn't want you. They didn't want you. By the way, he's talking about he don't want a fat girl. He's 275 pounds. I ain't got no room to talk because I'm a big man too, but 275 is not skinny, Jim. Three women there. That's not one of them. I mean, it's sexual, sexual. But in your chat, you ask if if she would have sex. Well, be, be only, only, be only because I was trying to get that that corner into to her to to to, to let loose and you know, and I don't know, maybe maybe in the wrong, maybe in, in the in the in the bad sense of things, maybe that, that was it. But I don't I don't think it was. I, I wouldn't have followed through with it. I think it was more apparent just trying to get a connection with her. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I really do. I think she's she just just doesn't know where she's going. She doesn't know where she's going. And she's trying to figure life out, and you're trying to help her figure that life out. I, I, at, at least in, in my sense of in it. Your mind, in your mind, in your mind. I, you know, I I would have. The last thing I wanted to do was come over here to Campbell County and 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 and, and meet. A 13 year old give me a break last night i could have had i could have had two women why would i want to do why would i want to do that that's the question why would you want to do it because you did it jim once again i'm just about i'm I, i'm getting ready to go i'm getting going? ready to i'm getting ready to get on the road cool are you interested yeah very yeah I, I just, you know, I, I just, I'm just like scared. There's gonna be somebody over there, like, like, like the cops and everything. But you totally weren't into it for a 13 year old, Jim. You, to that's not you. That's not your thing. But no, it's just me. You, you were turned on by someone that sounded like that. Get real. But, but tonight you were just trying to help somebody. I, I, I really think, I really feel I was trying to do that. I really. I'm, 
And I, I turned her down twice. If you read those emails, I turned her down twice. I, I'm not coming. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. No, if okay, 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 Jim. Listen. Look here, listen. <laughs> to quote Wings of Redemption. Um, you turned this girl down twice. All right, let, let's lay it all out again for the people that are just showing up now. This is Jim Rouch. He is a professor or was a professor at the university of Cincinnati. And he got into a chat with a 13 year old and it of course went the way that, you know, you would get arrested for trying to be clean on YouTube, of course. And he's basically trying to deny that he was doing anything like that. Even though we have the phone call and the chat logs and the, uh, follow-up interviews and just all of this other stuff. And he got convicted for it. I don't know how long he got in jail, but or prison, but he was, you know, he got convicted, I'm sure. And he thinks he's going to talk his way out of this. Let me see how long he was actually convicted for. Uh, da -da -da -da, where's that aftermath charged with travel and interstate commerce uh, commerce with intent to engage with a minor got 42, 46 months in prison lifetime parole supervision and registration as a offender. So he got 46 months in prison. That's a good while. It, it's uh, it's too much for me to do. Yeah. yeah. And I, I really, and I really felt that way, but I was, I was trying to, she was so certain now again, it's that, and this, this is the part that bothers me. Is like that, that, that provoking to, to get me to do something. Um, without that provoking, I would I, Jim, I swear to God, if a 13 year old tried to provoke me into anything, I would, I would have blocked them before they could, but there, there is, there just wouldn't happen. It would not happen. Jim, normal people, normal people that are not pedos that are not predators cannot get provoked by a 13 year old. I mean, you might want to smack them. <laughs> You might want to smack one for being annoying, that type of provocation. But like, seriously, I'm beyond flaccid right now. Even think, even here in this conversation, like I ain't got nothing going on down there. Like nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, just come on, Jim. I was provoked by, by her. Provoke is not the right word anyway, but come on, bro. Come on. You ain't fooling nobody. It should, it should have backed off. If it had been backed off, I would not even have even thought about it. Yeah, but she must have really needed you for you no, to. No, not for she. Her to, whoever it is. Let's let's, let's make clear. Right, right, but what you exactly. thought that, that, was that, that, that she that, needed you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and you know what? I and again, I go back to that in relationship to the police department, the group of criminal justice. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch out how far you take that. Because there are people who do care about other people, and I'm, I'm, I'm and you, you can write off this thing. Oh, I, you can take me to court and all that. <coughs> I, I wasn't going to hurt that kid. And I don't think you were. I, I wasn't. I, 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 I know there's no question Jim, about Jim, it. Jim, I honestly think you were not going to hurt Cheyenne or whoever you thought you were going to meet tonight. You're, Jim, I know you're not going to hurt her, right? No, I don't think you had any. I have more hurting. intention of hurting myself than I do of hurting her. But you needed to fill a void. I need, no, you, no. That's good to hear. Alive, alive in chat just said he got ran out of the Cincinnati, uh, Northern Kentucky area. I'm guessing that's what N NKY means, Northern Kentucky area after getting out of prison. Good. Of course they should run him out of there. I mean, I'm serious. You'd be shocked how many offenders are around you. If you look at the registry right now, wherever you live in America, you'd be shocked how many, there's a lot. There's a lot. You may think you live in a peaceful town where nothing ever happens. There's a lot. There's a lot. There are people that I went to high school with that I was friends with back in high school, right? Well, I don't even know if you'll call them friends, but they I knew them. You know what I mean? And they were just like one of the dudes or whatever. And then like 10 years later, you see that they're on the registry and it's just like, what? I mean, obviously I haven't talked to them since high school, but it's like, it's scary, man. Like you look at like, you know, the thing you start seeing people that you went to school with, whether it's high school or college or whatever. And it's like, 
Oh my God. Like you never saw it. And that's the thing about these people. They are so good at hiding it until they get caught. Then they just run their mouth and they're stupid and you know, whatever. But these people, you just never know who's going to be the offender. Well, maybe sometimes do. Cause Chris Tyson was pretty obvious. <laughs> I mean, some of them are, are dumb enough to tell on themselves, but like Chris Tyson, you know, and every friend that's surrounded by him that surrounds that guy, God, him and that giggly goon guy he's friends with and that Hollywood dude and that Fenster dude and all those other dudes that hang out with Chris Tyson are all tied together in that pedo. It's just nasty, man. But I mean, they're obvious, but I don't know, man. I, there are people in my, you know, where I grew up that I still wonder if they're, how they're not on the registry, if there's something wrong with them. Cause you can kind of tell a little bit with some of them that they're, they're a little bit off. They're a little bit weird, you know? Oh, no, it's not a, it's not a void. I, I don't want to make it a void. I got people. Like the guy who runs our elections here in town, I, I still, it's a toss up rather he's gay or he's a, a predator. I don't know which one he is, but it's like, there's something ain't right with that guy. He's been married and he has two kids and all that. And he seems like he's kind of a know-it-all kind of like Jim, honestly, you know, acts like Jim kind of a know-it-all that's, um, not very well liked by the community and everybody thinks he's kind of a douche and all that. But like, I'm just, I, I'm waiting for something to drop about him. Rather, he's rather going to be gay bi, trans, or he's going to be a predator. It's going to be something that ain't straight white male that he's trying to prove to everybody, but we'll see what happens. I was thinking about that dude though. It's like, Oh my God. You know, he was also, uh, you know, as up his own butt douchebag anyway, you know, I don't know. He was always, he was always something. I talked he was in the navy so maybe that's part of it but uh live says too bad mid uh my middle school teacher didn't go with him this was around the same time same area speaking of which the guy that i'm talking about the the creepy dude that's like you know irl in my town he was a teacher too he ended up being like a i don't know if he was a math te he was a teacher in the next county over and people said he was really weird over there and like the students didn't like him you know he was just a weird guy some some places, okay. What I need, what I, what I have, a, I have a need to help people. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe that's closer to it than than filling a void. Than because I do have people who have problems, and and, and I have no problems. Let, let's just take this, even if it was legal. Let's say it was like Jim is fifty something or sixty something, whatever he was in this, and let's say there it was a even a twenty one year old. You know, somebody old enough to drink and he went with this approach of you know he was trying to help them like you know he knew that they were something wrong with them he tried to help them or whatever tried to uh do whatever dude like she's depressed about her family being divorced you know her parents getting divorced a cock is not going to help that <laughs> giving her dick is not going to help her with her with, with her divorce situation you know her anxiety her depression her whatever she has going on wrong with her dick is not going to fix that. Okay. So stop using that as an excuse. And if you do, you know, try to go after women that you know are vulnerable because of a divorce or because of a, um, they were assaulted by somebody else. So they're just mentally ill or they're just crazy or whatever. I mean, you're exploiting them even as adults, you know, it's legal, I guess, but it's not ethical gem. Even if she was an adult, this approach is still the wrong approach. It's still manipulative. It's still, uh, preying on somebody's weakness. Basically. I'm just saying, it's just, it's just, uh, crazy, man. I'm telling you, that's the thing though. I mean, I said it earlier on Twitter and I think it made a few people mad and it's probably true. Probably didn't make them mad, but it is true. A lot of these women that are like into the woke stuff, you know, like they're just, uh, it was like this girl that was basically saying like, well, I'm a trans man, but I'm straight. Basically it's a chick that wants to bang dudes or whatever. And just all this other crap. And I'm just like, dude, and it's true. I've seen it before. A lot of these crazies out there, especially the college ones, once they get with the real man, and I'm not talking about these, these limp wristed soy boy types that are basically, you know, yes, dear. Yes, dear. It's fine that you have a, you know, another boyfriend. That's not me that, you know, like the type, you know what I'm talking about? Like the, Beta, those types. When she gets a real man, like a like a dude that's not gonna put up with that bullshit, she'll change. She'll get rid of all that, all that, all that nonsense that she's doing in college. She'll get rid of that. 
You know what I mean? That's what happened to a lot of these, these corn stars. Like Riley Reed just did it, you know, all through her twenties and maybe even to whatever she is now, all of a sudden she found a real man though. Basically said, no, nah, you ain't doing that no more. You know what I mean? And she stopped and now she's trying to be all traditional and conservative and stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't want her, but I'm just saying like a lot of them, not all will change. We'll drop all that woke and, and crazy nonsense once they get a man that you know does give them a good plowing once in a while and does them, hey cut that out <laughs> I'm just it's true though it's true but you should not seek that you should not try to fix them <laughs> with your dick but you can it's possible and it's very likely that you will but you should not seek them after that reason they will not meet normal men you're exactly right that's the thing if your partner like all right, put it this way. It, it works both ways. Let's say like somebody like destiny or, or Vosh or somebody meets a 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10, drop that gorgeous, big teddy, blonde, green eyed, gorgeous. Oh my God. She is just a, a, an absolute, you know, knockout. Every man in the world would want to be with her. You know what I mean? But she happens to be a conservative. That, that does not believe in all this woke nonsense. He will bend the knee and go along with it and drop his commies to get with her. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But you shouldn't seek him out for that. Cause they're, they're more trouble than they're worth anyway. Seriously. But yeah. Relation. Yeah, Relation. my point is not that you, the point is that people will change themselves if they think their partner is like is someone that they really or just like into like physically mentally sexually all of that they will tolerate a lot of sh because their partner is hot and gives them you know the action that they want i don't know this because i've done it i've put up with crazy bitches in the past you know and a lot of gaslighting and nonsense because she was hot that's like every time someone asks me about um, multiple of my exes. Why did you put up with that? Cause she was hot. Okay. Yes. She was crazy. Yes. She was completely out of her mind. Yes. She drove me crazy and made me want to jump off the roof by himself, but she was hot. <laughs> just, that's what I'm saying. It comes either way, it goes either way. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying people will change if their partner is uh, has the certain attributes that they really deeply crave. Usually it comes down to being a good, let's be real. Ships are hard. I don't think Jim is a good, I'm just being real with y'all. I don't think Jim is a good, I can't imagine Jim has anything over a five down there. And it sounds like loose skin and old balls. Ugh. Um, the connection that you were making with her, she was innocent, you were innocent, you were just trying to help her, um, and it just got out it of hand. It just got out of hand. I agree with you. Yeah. And it's, it's much easier to talk to a younger person because they're more open and understanding. But see, and, this, and, then I go, and again, this is the lesson I think that you need to learn. You're playing a role, and when, or whoever does, whoever's doing it, is playing the role of something that they're not. And when they play that role, they've got all this stuff behind them, all this garbage, not garbage, it's not really garbage, it's really experience, okay? They've got that behind them, and they're manipulating that all the way through it. Mm -hmm. And with a person or a, a a good, successful, uh, I don't know what, what, are they, what are they call it, uh, officer who is, is doing this, a good officer can, 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 can remove that a little bit so they can be innocent to, to bring it in. But the, the return on that, which is the problem, is the person from the outside who comes in. They don't see it as that person who has to, has, to, has all that control. And therefore, relax, give up levels of 
of, of, of intensity that they might not have if they were talking to an adult. And therefore, because of relaxing that intensity, maybe some things out that need to get out, but also go, in my case, go over overboard. And, and expect that person who's on the other side, who, who is intelligent enough and has the experience enough to really understand what's going on there. What are you talking about, Jim? What? I walk away for two seconds to take a leak and then come back and you're talking about uh, like existential not, what are you even on about? Like guys more incoherent than, no, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Keep going. Makes a critical judgment instead of an emotional ju uh, judgment on what's happened to a person like me. I don't know if that makes sense, but it doesn't, <laughs> it do does not make sense at all. I've just been sitting here staring off into space for like the last 30 seconds, just trying to figure out what you're talking about. And I'm getting nothing, Jim. It's gobbledygook. It's freaking word salad. It means nothing. You have to do. I don't, I don't really care. I, I mean, I really do. It's going to, it's either going to crush my life or it's going to, we're going we're gonna to go. I think by getting it off your shoulders stuff. and talking about it, I think at least you're making a step somewhere. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get some 13 year old in my bed. I don't, I, that's not it. Then why were you talking to one on the phone, Jim? Okay. Well, 140. What Kevil? Yeah. Okay. Well, I will be there. As I'm, 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 I'm at my place right now, and I'm. Uh, it's like Eastgate area. Okay. And and I will be there as as soon as I can. As soon as I can be there. Okay. Are, are you are you are you sure this is okay? Need I say more? If I want to get somebody in my bed, I go to the swingers club. I go to the date people I date, which are, there, are, there are three or four that I normally date, and, and I can do that. It's not that's not. I, I mean, that's not. I'm not a predator. I'm not that 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 in that ballgame. I don't like even young women. I don't know. There's a little problem with that. There's a, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like young guy, little guys. I don't know. I can't yeah. put them over there. That's, that's not your thing. <laughs> okay, it really is something. That's thing. not your thing. But, but it's not, but, but beyond my not my thing, it's, I don't, there are people out there who do. And, and that's not me. And, you're, yeah. you're, and I'm really serious. You know, Jim, if I thought that was you, I wouldn't waste my time here with you. <laughs> I'm sure that was, and he really did believe that line. Because if if I felt that way, I'd say, you know what, Jim's yeah, like that. Right. Throw you away, and okay. I'll get to Okay, let me give you another indication. I taught music for 31 years. I have never been arrested in that 31 years for any kind of child molestation or anything like that. And the 31 years. I've seen many, many kids go through the through my, my system and through the systems that I, that I over. It's the wrong ballgame. I mean, it's just not, it's not me. Okay. So when you were online chatting mm -hmm. and you felt that you were, you felt like you were talking to somebody who possibly did understand and probably had some experiences, you felt like you could let go, right? You know, it's funny. And to put it in perspective, over the last couple of weeks, which China has been involved, I did not feel that way until tonight. And I don't know what made that difference. I don't. I have no idea what made that difference, but I felt like, like maybe maybe it's a movement on the part of the people who, whoever did it to to to, to, to kind of motivate me to go that direction. Um, No, I really was very, very cautious of not letting my, any information out, not, not, any, not, not even my emotions, until tonight. Tonight, tonight you felt, you know, that you could be. I guess I was like, free. I just looked. I was just looked down. I did. I was. Uh, I was. I was tired of playing games and, and doing things and just backed off and just. Okay, you want to you want to talk? You want to get together? Here's my phone number. Give me a call. I'll do it. I mean, really, it's 
it's, it's and really you let your guard, you let your guard down. I let my guard. You let your guard down. I let my guard down only because of the fact that I had my guard up for weeks. Yeah. And 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 and. We gonna cry about it, Jim. You gonna start crying, crying to the cops like Vincent Ambrosio did. Oh, I'm so pathetic. I'm just a fat piece of crap. Oh, oh. Let's see how good it did for him. You got four, almost four years in jail for this, Jim. You got almost four. You didn't learn nothing. Well, four years in prison. Didn't learn nothing from it. Didn't learn nothing. You know, there's a call in 2019, which was like, what? Like long time later. <laughs> I don't feel like doing the math in my head. Like 12 years after this. And he didn't learn nothing. Like he's not apologizing for it. He didn't uh, feel that he did anything wrong, even now. So it's like, uh, he's just delusional. And only, and, and, and through that guard, that I had, I thought maybe she needs some help. Maybe she needed to talk to somebody. Maybe she was moving in a direction that she, that I could help her in some way. Your cock was not going to help this child. That's not how it works. Seriously. That, that's not how you help anybody, child or adult. That does not fix their problems. Really? That's the honest answer. And what do you want to talk to her about? I mean, I mean regards to, to I, I want to, I want to open up those, those channels. I don't, I don't know where she was yeah. in that regard. Yeah. I wanted to open it up so she could talk to me. Uh, and she, and, and, and in the past she was, she was guarded too. And she, For you got, I mean, you talked about a lot of things. You said you talked about, you know, different things, you mm -hmm. know, um, do you, how is it you guys talk about, I know you said you let your guard down mm -hmm. and you're feeling lonely. How many times did you guys talk about sexual things? Uh, not, nothing until tonight. Okay, nothing until that, that, that I'm aware of. Are you aware? I don't remember anything, the connotation of the, and if it was, if it, if it was, it was like really off the wall. Off the wall? Yeah, it wasn't like as, 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 as straightforward as it was tonight. So what do you consider straight, kind of off the wall? Just something that you remember oh, talking about. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember I don't, don't remember specifically. Do you guys I mean do you just off the wall things maybe about give a blow job or anything like that or Oh well, talking about uh, how what kind of relationship do you have she would she have with her boyfriend. Okay. And, and do you guys go deeper than that? Do you ever touch you? Yeah. About that. That's about the, that's about the extent of it. That's that's about the bottom of the road. Did she ever talk to you about going deeper than that? I mean, any? Not until tonight. Okay. And I don't know. I'm not sure she really went that far with me as much as I went her on, which, yeah. which is my problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you guys talk about tonight? It just kind of seemed like everything. I don't. I don't know what it was about tonight. I, think, um, I don't know what what provoked that. Uh, maybe it's just a, a commonality or or a, just a talking over a period of time mm -hmm. uh which uh, which is probably about a lot of it kind of culminated and over a couple no of it wasn't a culmination it was more it, it was more of, of a of a of a of a um just a just a uh um uh, a relaxed nature between two people. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 like I said, it doesn't. It wasn't a culmination of things. It was more of a, of a, of a relaxed nature of. Understanding each other. I, 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 so you I, felt like you were on the same page. Yeah, I, I, and, and yeah, yeah. That 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 we could talk about something. And you were you were open. You guys were open. You were I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. I, I think it became it be, for some reason it became more open tonight than ever before, and, um, and then obviously exploded. But again, I jump on you guys for that. I jump on you for that because because that that what 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 I needed, whether it was. Cheyenne or Joe Blow. 
I needed somebody to talk to. And and instead of somebody to talk to, I ended up with with investigations. Well, I, I, I understand. I, I, I don't I don't I don't criticize you for it. Don't understand. Don't misunderstand. I understand. I, I, I it's 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 a it's a real social and it's a real social problem. I don't know how often off do you do this every night? No. 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 This is Jim, you you know, like I said before, we're just trying to get out what happened tonight and what's been happening. And, you know, I understand that you you've had a rough time. Mm -hmm. You 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 needed to talk to somebody. Yes. You could have you could have went out with two women or three women the other night. Fifteen. I mean it right, right, right. last the other night, yeah. two nights up there. Talk to Cheyenne, made you feel good. Kind of let you. It, let sol it solved a problem, it, 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 but it didn't solve a problem in terms of I didn't do anything except for talk. Yeah. And <clears throat> when you, and then tonight was just a culmination of, you know, you, you felt like you know, hey, maybe you know, maybe I need to see her. Maybe she can actually, I can open up. I can open up to her, and it's like, and that's exactly, and that is really, essentially it. Uh, I, and I am, and, and I, you know, did it would it come to in some sexual thing? Uh, I'm not going to say it wouldn't, but I'm I'm in the other side other side of me, which, which, it it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, it it, it I can't believe your phone's ringing. It would not have, it would never reach that point because of the person I am. And because uh, I would, I would never take advantage of her. If you go back on those, and you'll see it. How many times I ask you, Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? And the reason why is because I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to. She was young, supposedly. She was young, and I did not want to do that. I, I really, this young thing. All right, I got, I got something up really quick. Um, so. I don't know where the chat log is. We might eventually find it, but perverted justice's website is down and the archive, you know, dot org is also gone. That, that just sucks so bad that the archive dot org is gone, but, um, whatever, someone has to have these logs somewhere, but I do have a write up that gives the, the basics of, um, what Jim and this Cheyenne talked about. Uh, I'll read it to you really quick. It says, Jim, a 60 year old faculty member at the university of Cincinnati started a webcam session with quote unquote, Cheyenne, a girl he believed to be 13. He literally started off by asking the decoy if she wanted to give him oral, um, over a course of 11 days, Rouch would send naked photos of himself. Uh, one of them in his office as well as make plans to take her back to his place for sex. Jim would take off in his car drunk on the way to see Cheyenne. So he was drunk during this and during driving around looking for her. probably why I couldn't find her. Cause he was drunk. He uh, would get lost on his way, calling her and cursing like a sailor and not being able to find the house saying things like the bears are looking for my dick. When he arrived at the sting house, no one was there except for police to pick him up. So he eventually did make it to the sting house, but I guess Chris Hansen got sick of waiting and wasn't there. And the cops just picked him up. Um, then it just talks about the interrogation we're watching. So we don't need to read that, but yeah. So he directly immediately opened with asking this 13 year old, if she would give him, you know, go down on him basically. So it was never innocent from the very beginning. He automatically knew exactly what he wanted and he was already talking about it and you know that's what he wanted that's what he was looking for from the beginning there was no he got caught up in the moment and just lost his head for a while or whatever no he immediately knew that he wanted to have a uh, situation like that with a 13 year old before he talked to this girl like, like there is no excuse there's no excuse even if it was something where you get caught up in the moment because you shouldn't be talking to one but he went in there with the intention up front to be having that sort of uh situation happen with an underage girl that's what he wanted so anything he says in this is just bs i don't think you, you did not i know you didn't want to hurt her no. 
and you, and you went there tonight to see her, to help her out, you know, and things could have, you know, but you, but you would, I don't think if anything would have happened, now I'm talking anything, mm -hmm. you would have never heard her. I, I, Jim, I know that. No, I, I wouldn't. You, you would, you, that's not me. You, that's not you, but you know, you know, you know, you were there for her, you were going to try to be there for her, and you came here for that reason, to be there for her. And, and, I, and let's, 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 let's be realistic about that, too. Yeah. I, I came here to be for her, possibly sexually, too. Yeah. Oh, and, there and it is. He admits it. There he goes. He at least he, possibly, too. No, that was the entire point. Up front. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got on a webcam trying to make sure she was 13 and then talked about her giving you, you know, pleasure down under. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I, but I don't know if I could have ever have done that. I, I don't think I could ever. I mean, I, I'm serious. I have. I, went to the, I told you this one swingers club. Yeah. So I've been dating. I have gone there twice, yeah. and I've walked away because, no, that's not what me. What I want. I I, I want to go to some place and meet somebody who really, really needs what I am, not my you, dick. You know. You want. <laughs> then why did you bring up your dick? <laughs> immediately talking to the first girl who showed you any attention period online or otherwise probably in the last 10 to 20 years to you for you once jim yeah and 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 i'll, and I'll do i'll do a hell of a lot for that we can go into personal <laughs> yeah. details on that but but there are people uh-oh silent hill here comes the creepy part where like all the stuff goes black and Pyramid comes. Pyramid head comes out and chops him in half. Ooh, spooky! I wish. There are people in my in my life who would do anything for me to yeah. to just give up everything I have and just go with them. Yeah. But I won't do it. And there are other people on the inside who 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 need every bit of me. And I can't give I can't give them that because I've got this other person who really needs me who doesn't who won't say the thing. And to Sound, not, sounds like there's a lot of relationship issues going on oh, for you right now. Oh, absolutely! I have no, no question about it. Yeah. I can be specific about it. You want specifics, or you want to talk about legalities? I have a girlfriend who won't get married, who doesn't want to see me, and except for. On the weekends when she wants to get fucked. Okay. So you're a hoe. You're a hoe too. You have a girlfriend. I, all right, so back up, Jim. You were talking to a 13 year old, but you already have a woman who wants to see you on the weekends for that. So you are a hoe. We finally got a crossover between Catfish and TCAP. It's finally happened. Jim, you are a hoe. You are a hoe. I have another another woman who would just who would just would would love for me to just move in with her. I can't move. Then in. why don't you? You're so lonely, Jim. You keep talking about oh I'm lonely and hard oh, guy. Get nobody to talk to. You got two different women. One that you're banging. One that you may also be banging. I don't know. But you're talking about you're a hoe. You're you're the bad. I'm the good type of hoe. I'm here for pleasure, and I'm here to make people happy. I am a whore in that regard, but I ain't no hoe because I'm not cheating on anybody, Jim. I'm not juggling women. I don't even have any women right now, but like not dating anyone right now, but I, I'm just saying, you, I mean, you literally said uh, you have a girlfriend, you have a mistress, and then you're trying to give a 13 year old. Jim, lay off the Viagra that is making you crazy. With her, because she, she's, she's not going anywhere. She's just not. I want to. Jim, the only place you're going is the grave. You're 60. For God's sake. Where, where else do where do you want to go? You're 60. You're about to retire. You want to go to Boca? You want to go to freaking Cancun? Want to go to Rio de Janeiro? Want to settle down in Uruguay or somewhere else in South America? Go to a nice little trip to Paris <laughs> or Portugal and get your ass whooped like Ethan Ralph does. <laughs> oh my God. That's what he wants. He wants to go to Portugal and get his ass whooped like Ethan Ralph does. Went to Portugal twice, got his ass whooped both times. 
He can't go to Portugal without getting his whooped in the streets. <laughs> just, that, that shit, that's basically a comedy in and of itself. A man cannot go to a country without getting his whooped twice now. He'll probably go back a third time and then he'll just get it whooped again like a freaking cartoon character or something. Freaking Wiley Coyote of the internet. I want this one to come around and shoot that we will. So what I do, juggle phone calls on those two. Then we add in the other emotions of, you know, okay, so I can't satisfy any one of the two. I know you. <laughs> I can see you're gone on this. You have no clue what I'm talking about. But, but, there, but this, all, this is all going on. But these are your feelings. Yeah. These are your feelings. Well, no, yeah. they're, they're beyond my feelings. They're, they're, they're people who, who affect my feelings. And they're people who, who I can get down on my knees and say, stop this shit. Yeah. And then, and they, you know, so eventually I'll die and, and everybody else will go on. And, and tonight, this is, I, I, as I said, I don't care. I don't want to be involved in a whole bunch of legal. I've been there before, not, not major, but, but yeah. yeah, I don't, I know what's like. I know what this shit is like. And, um, but you wouldn't be there for her tonight. I wanted to help somebody out. I and wanted, I wanted somebody. She, her mother was not around. Her father was not around and she didn't know what to do. And she had I did. Emo emotional feelings. Mm -hmm. Sexual feelings. Mm -hmm. She had a multitude of feelings. Right. And, and I could answer some of those by my dialogue, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And mid back from. You know, but right now we're talking about it. And that's the main point. I mean you could you could come in there and say that, you know <clears throat> I still so, I still feel sabotaged. Yeah, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to sabotage. But I feel sabotaged. Oh, because yeah. because because of the fact that is I'm 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 not out there the uh, the thirteen year olds and 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 are uh, getting them drunk and and taking them up to hotels and as we always know from the news today mm -hmm. I'm not doing that and I and I don't have a desire to do that. but you but you felt a connection tonight I and I, tonight tonight I was felt she, um, she needed and, and she needed you and you uh, and I needed her in some yeah. sense. And I needed to be able to let yourself go. No, no, no. I needed to. I needed to there's, help a, her. there's a needy. There's a needy thing. To help her. I needed to, to. I needed to fulfill a need of somebody. And I've always done it all the Why don't you call your girlfriend or your mistress or any of those swingers or all these other women that are just hot for that gym rouch? Yeah. All my life, I got to go back to history with the, with the, with my school. Yeah. And it's always it's always that trying to find some way to help some kids, and I really felt that, I really felt that need. I'm, and I'm not, it's not bullshit. It's just the way I feel. That's bullshit. I mean, if that's the way you feel, I, I mean, I don't think that's bullshit. Well, I know, but on the on, on the outside of it, and people look at it, they, they don't they don't see it. But you have feelings. I mean, you'd be inhuman if you didn't have feelings. And tonight was about feelings. Tonight, it was. tonight was about feelings, and tonight was about you trying to help someone who you thought you needed. Help them is the is the key word there. Yeah, yeah. and, and you and wanted to share. I wanted to be. Them. I wanted to be able after, after the discussion of the of the we if it's if it's sexual or whatever it happens to be, I wanted to 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 you know share that this is how I would see it. What do you need? Where, 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 where do we go from there? What, what, what? How, how does my role change with you? I, enough, enough, enough labor. Do, do what you have to do. You know, Jim, um, you've said several times that you know you feel sabotaged. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make life harder for you. I mean, you're in the situation that you're in, and right now we have an opportunity to talk through things and maybe get you in a better situation so that you don't feel sabotaged. Okay, in, 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 that, re in that relationship, in that, in that perspective, how do I deal? 
Who gonna be online? Unless you guys chop up my arms and take the job away. Um, and deal with that when I see somebody who does have a need. Um, I don't. I don't mean searching out. I'm not talking. I'm somebody. I am. That's a whole other thing. I never, never have gone to somebody on the internet who hasn't responded to me. However that, however that plays a perspective and how you deal with the job that you do. For me, once they respond to me, then, then, then I have not an obligation, I don't, I don't, I don't, but, but, I, but I, I need to, and do I need to answer them or do I shut it off? And, and you shut it off. It's that simple. Shut it off, Jim. That is real. That is really hard for me. Yeah. That is really hard. When somebody said hi, after I said hi to them, I mean, just that simple. Just that simple. If I if I don't respond to them, it says, oh, man, he doesn't care. It's like the thirty-seven thousand other people that don't care. You know. And I, and and I and I and I, I have a real problem with that. Because if somebody responds to me, I always respond to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Do, what, do what, what do we do to do here? If you could talk more about um, the information that you exchanged with Cheyenne as far as pictures or I never sh chat. I, I did have my, my webcam and my webcam has, has been both with uh, been both uh, 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 visuals I mean, obviously seeing me and, uh, facially uh, Gentilia oh, he admitted that he sent the picture like yeah, sent, yeah. sent um, video recordings of his junk to this 13 year old he admitted that too is slowly unraveling people that he is guilty. Yeah. How many times would you say? Um, I would say maybe one or two times that she has accepted to see me okay. that way. And that was on Yahoo. It was on Yahoo, okay. and it was her. I, ne I, I never, I never forced it on her. She always, she always asked to, to have an exception, have, have uh, to accept it. Um, uh, but not. It, it's not always been gentle, but that face. Yeah, multi yeah. multitude of different things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that, but that's only, uh, and again, only because of the fact that that's the way I was at that point. Uh, not, not that I was. No. Okay. Cheyenne is going to be on, so let's put it on my dick. No, it was never that. It was a, it was there. I just clicked on webcams available. She accepted it or not accepted it. In most cases, and, and she didn't always accept it either. Mm hmm Okay. Well, was this in response to the conversation you were having? No, no, there was, or? no, no. There was, there was usually no conversation in relationship to that. No, no, no conversation. No, nothing. Uh, is, is this an adult cam? No, no, not even, even that. It's, cam is available. If you want, you can see it. If you don't, when when you sent that but that's okay okay again but in relationship to other people other than than cheyenne man that was that was common practice, common practice for me what, do, what, what did you hope when if somebody you, wanted to look at it they could they could they could look at it decline and look at it stop go on do their own thing. look at what your dick i mean what do you mean the they want to look at it. They can just look at it. If they don't, they can just stop and go on with the business. Like, bruh, I don't just, do we need to set up like a Johnny Fox cock cam or something? Because I mean, like, is that like a genre of a video? Maybe I get it actually might get famous doing that, but, um, I don't want to, I don't want to get famous that way, but still, bro, it's like, <laughs> if they just want to look at it, it's fine. So, I, that, that was my, that was my, yeah. And that was my, That was what I expected them to do. If they didn't want to see it, they didn't do it. If they did see it and they didn't want to look at it. So what did you do, Jim? Just sit in a chat room or on Omegle or Omegle, however you say that. Or, or those other websites that are like, you know, the video thing where like you just 
swipe through talking to randos or whatever. I'm just, I've never, I just, bro, I'd be scared that I'd run across something like you don't want to run across doing that stuff. You ain't no telling what, I mean, you never know what the next person is going to be on them videos. You might see some, we probably see definitely a lot of Jim Rouches on there trying to, you know, hook up with girls and stuff through what's the other site. It's you got you, you had Omegle and you had something else. What was the other big one? Uh, wasn't Chatterbait? It was is that a thing? Chatterbait? That's web. That's live cam, and I, I can't remember what the hell it's called. Oh God! Uh, it's another one that does the same thing as Omegle. That they could click on. So you sent it as something as if she wanted to view it, she could view it. If she didn't, she didn't want to view it. Exactly. And I, I, mean, I, I would have done that with, I would have done that beyond, but beyond Cheyenne, the way, all of, uh, any other people that I had, had 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 any contact with. Chat roulette is what I was thinking of. Okay, I don't know if that's even a thing anymore, but that that was a thing. I mean, when you go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and you get a response, and you put on, and you put on uh, my webcam is available. That's it, and then then you get that cho that choice. So, when you said that there were uh, webcam shots of your genitalia, mm -hmm. what was going on? Was there masturbation involved? Uh, not in not in all cases, no. Just there. Just there was some, there there was masturbation in in places of people who did have a connection with me. Okay, in other words, people who stayed with me. And, and then well, short term, no, no. What about with what Cheyenne? About Cheyenne? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, and that, and, that, and that, that may be just a, I don't remember, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think it was more like, you know, here, here, here's a guy's thing, yeah. More, that, that was more of it. More of an education for her? I think so. I think so. She, she was uh, at least whoever whoever she is. <laughs> we go back to that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it was it was more of of a of a um, exploratory. This is, this is what a guy looks like. Yeah. Oh, your boyfriend looks like. You ever touched that your boy boyfriend? Yeah. Oh yeah, I touched him once. That kind of Nothing more than that. Nothing for her. Bro, you sh she's thirteen. She shouldn't have a boyfriend. Period. I'm, I'm just saying. That, that I remember. I sure remember. Okay. And you said you only did that like one or two times. You said you sent something out, or um, probably one or two times, uh, uh, no more than that. And then tonight, um, you said you were going to be for her in various issues, you know, because her some with her parents and she said her mother was working at the hospital and that, that, that she was free and and, and, yeah. uh, and I connected and I mean I gave her my phone number you gave her your phone number which is which was a big was a was a big step for me yeah well, for you know well big step for me because number one I hey I, Jess I, I didn't even know she, where she lived yeah and um, um, and then we, we followed through with that and that, that fiasco been driving all over. Driving. Driving. How, how'd you find her? How'd you find her place there? Uh, luckily. Did you get like a map quest? Or? No, I, I had originally had a had a had a, a, a map, but but uh, when you I I, I I spent I spent an hour looking for directions were terrible. Uh, <laughs> or who's whoever it is, they're crazy. They, they, they were terrible. Yeah, they were. <laughs> so did you have to call her back, or that's where you kind of kind of asked where. Where is this well, where am I going? What am I doing? Was it a cell phone? Or, I'm not uh, sure. Or your My, phone I had a phone. cell phone. I had a cell phone. So she was calling you on your cell phone? Mm -hmm. Or whoever it was. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have you ever called her on your cell phone or anything no. like that? No. Never. Not till night. Okay. And tonight I know a lot of things. You wanted to express certain things. You wanted to... Uh, can I, I just kind of, I'm trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to express your feelings, Jim. Okay, I am. I'm trying to express your feelings, and, and cause I want to get it right. I don't want to say something that's not right. Okay. And, but you, tonight, you know, you want to see how she was emotionally, sexually. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the, is that what kind of, what the condoms come into play? 
Were the what condoms what you is, had on I, 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 All right, hold I on. wanted to put them in my pocket. Having some video issues. Give me a second. Yeah. That maybe that should be noted. Having some video issues. Give me a second to stabilize it. Hey, Jess. Happy to see you. Always happy to see you in chat. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day out there. Um, yeah, I'm starting to do morning shows. So anybody that's looking for me to do stuff, probably going to start doing morning shows regardless because I wake up so early. I woke up at like seven o'clock every day, like regardless. So, you know, doing a show at like eight o'clock is like, you know, the time where I should be winding down, not amping up. So usually, you know, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11 o'clock I'll do a show, but, uh, I just, I don't know. Late night shows just don't work for me biologically apparently i i put the, i put the condoms in my pocket tonight yeah i if, if there's something culminated i don't even have to go to work that's the thing i don't even you know i work from home so i mean i can go to work anytime i want but it's like my body is basically adjusted saying all right you're getting up at 7 30 every morning like that's it like there's no kids or anything to take to school or work to go to it's just my body is adjusted and decided that 7 30 is when it wants to wake up yeah uh est georgia time new york time whatever hey brimley how you doing that that that, that she well that grimley eb grimley how you doing buddy we want that direction you want to feel so i'll probably start shows around like 10 a.m or something do like a morning show and um uh i don't know what i'm going to cover probably catfish a lot obviously this one the, this sort of stuff the tcap stuff will never be the main thing but this is more like a I think this is probably more like a, um, what do you call it? Advertisement for the Patreon because the Patreon has all the TCAP episodes, which were like, you know, the Chris Hansen interrogations plus this, even like the original cut of this particular interrogation that I did live a few years ago. I got to make sure that that folder is still working though. Cause I think that, um, we've been having issues with copyright stuff, but, uh, I'll fix it on the Patreon after this, if it is broken. Be safe. it shouldn't be because i think that i do have it set up to my mega which mega doesn't actually look at my um files so that's part of the reason i did that was because mega was nowhere near as anal about copyright as freaking um google was about it Dude, where, where does this link to okay so that link does this still i mean that links to a google drive right now but is that well, all this stuff is there right now so if you want to watch that stuff it's on patreon but uh, right now it's the Google Drive link, and uh, it may have to switch to a Mega that NZ. But I think Google Drive has a better. Um, <laughs> Strangely enough, I, I, it was almost like Inception because, like, the very first video in the Google Drive folder that the Patreon members get is the original Jim Rouch uh, interrogation tape. Like the one I did back then. That's a terrible intro. Welcome everyone to another Johnny Fox Live in this episode. See, that's like, you know, that's that's crazy. But there are 79 total TCAP recap episodes and then like six interrogations. So it's like over 80 episodes. But I can't play those on YouTube because I'll get freaking banned. But uh, they're all there. So if you wanted to see that series where I basically watched the interrogation and then... Um, tell you what happened to the dude after the interrogation was over uh, well not the interrogation we watched the we watched the chris hansen interview then they get arrested and then i would tell you at the end of the video what they got charged with and what they got convicted with and all of that like the update so if you want 86 episodes of that patreon.com slash johnny fox rocks five bucks a month okay uh, it's the same reason why i had the and month. you can download the videos by the way like they're all downloadable. Like, so if you want to archive them or whatever you could and you know, whatever you want to do with them, but like I have them as like a Patreon perk regardless. Yeah. YouTube's lame because if, if I literally was making a way more money on TCAP than I was catfish. So it's just bullshit that they took it down, but you know, that's how they are. You can't talk about predators cause it's bullying and harassment. Like seriously, they gave me like, they just crazy 86 episodes on patreon right now that you can go watch of my to catch a predator series that i shot a couple of years ago and it was it was hot for a while but the bastards at youtube decided to take it down because oh my god you can't make fun of pedos my pocket last night in case of when i went to the swingers club yeah. i would have them in, in that case I, and you and you protect yourself 
I no, I, no, yeah. Number one, I protect, protect myself. Yeah. Number two, I protect the person who's involved. Just like I said, you you care about people. I can yeah. understand that you would would want, like I said, you didn't want to hurt nobody. You, exactly. That's and, exactly. And that's you know, and tonight went in that direction. You you were at least been prepared. I was prepared if it did it when it came to that point. Yeah. Which did they really expect it to be there? No. Did you want it to be there? Oh yeah, I'd love to be. <laughs> only, only only a sense that I, that I I'm I'm frustrated as hell. I mean, do I want to surrender stop the way there? No, I, mean, yeah. I can go down. I can go down the list. Uh, down, 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 down. <laughs> I can go down the list. It's been two weeks since I've had a. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm frustrated as hell. But to, and uh, expectations of it being there. Not any more than anything else. And it, it, it really is aggressive, an aggressive nature on my part. You know, but you I, have feelings. I mean, well, it's, but that one, what I'm thinking of is, okay, I'm going to go over and meet her. So, so what happened? Whatever happens, okay, it's fine. And then I'm thinking about, okay, well, I'm going to stop over at uh, at uh, Rhino's over <laughs> after after it's over. Maybe there's, you know, Rhino's. Rhino's is over. It's, it's a it's a, a bar over in uh, in Eastgate. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if you know if 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 this this like that doesn't happen or whatever, I'm ready. Yeah. That's exactly where it was. And I think it would have went. Say I think would would have went differently tonight, and we were not here. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think you could have had a relationship with Cheyenne? Do you think there was enough of a connection there that you could have a relationship with her? Uh, I think it's too early. But you did feel, feel connected. You did feel connected to her. I felt connected to her, but I, I, but it was too, it was too fast. Too fast. Um, um, it, it it probably would have been one of those things where we sat down, have had the iced tea, and, and I went home. Um, and that's what's so bad about this, because that's where I was. Yeah. Maybe she wasn't the same where the same area, but I or whoever it is. But for me, I I just. I really was not trying to. It's not this predator trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and Jim, I, we, we, you, we've done one over that. Okay, but the, the point is, you I still think that. You, some, so there's some sense of that. But Jim, if you made a mistake, I can handle. You made a mistake. No. I did not contrive this this no. girl into to, to no. having sex with me. What I did, what I did was I tried to to to, to meet with her. To help her out, to, to help her out in what she needs to do. She's going through some stuff with her. If if that's really and true, that's, and then I still go on with my life. And that's different from a predator. Yeah, who well, takes, I hope so. Who takes, I hope so. You know, Jim, I, I see the difference. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, see I hope so because I, I, I certainly there's a there. clear distinction there. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I just you know I, 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 I don't want that clapped on top of me. I've spent many, many years not not keeping away from it, but being aware that it's out there and just being careful. Yeah. And then to and then and the the fall on this is like Well you've not had any issues before. No, not at all. Not at all. But but, but the thing is, music teacher, elementary school <sighs> there's there's Magnitudes of out there for that, and, and things like this. If this had ever happened to me, I would, I would be fired from West Claremont immediately, because of the fact that there is that stigma, and because of the fact that, you know, I'm since retired, so that it doesn't matter. Anymore, so. But but the, but you should know that. You should know that those qualifications that that that, that come along with that territory. And it's not just music teachers, it's, yeah. it's the other teachers yeah. as well. Any male teachers in the elementary grade. And, like I said, I don't consider you in that category. And okay. while I'm here, is there anything, I don't think they expect I would find anything, but is there anything in your vehicle that I should mm -hmm. know about? I, think? I don't think so. Would you mind if any of the officers would look through to oh, see? Oh, I have no, no absolutely not at all. Okay, so you don't mind if they look through your vehicle? If, if they fill up my tires with 
Well, I don't. I will. I will, I will, I will ask them. I, you know, I, I, I will ask them, but I don't know what you'll get. The big old joke is just like a comedy show to him, ain't it? He thinks he's he's got some friends here, and they're just going to let him go. They're going to go blow his tires up for him because one's flat. He's going to go home. And he's going to go right back to the chat rooms and keep doing what he was doing anyway. I think this is is almost the end of it anyway because uh, there is a very long gap in the middle of this one, like from uh, them going to check his car. We'll see what happens, but um, the yeah, I say that they, they don't cut out. This is like a raw tape, so they don't cut out the long, long, long silent portion. Is my light came on? Is oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> my air pressure is well. Down. I I, I, will, no, I, will, I right, let no, it down. There's yeah. not a damn thing in that car. But you don't mind them taking you a little bit? You don't mind them searching? Not, not at all. You want me to go get those forms? Yeah. If, if I don't okay. do drugs. I don't do okay. that kind of thing. I do drink, but <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think they just leave for a while. Go check his car. They come back around this spot. This, this spot right here. It really does. <laughs> it's more. It's more intuitive than you think. Um, I actually, my mother's said something in my history would always. Look at him. He's all laid back, like he's just talking to a buddy. You know, drinking and get all screwed up, laid him back on the couch, like yeah, man, yeah. And um, her, my mother's brother-in-law was like the um, head of the Democratic Party. And um, no, we don't care about that, Jim. I really don't. We're not getting into politics on this show. Uh, is there anything else really noteworthy? Did he get slapped or anything? Let's see how. It, well, he goes to sleep, I guess, at the end of it. So that sounds good to me. All right, we are gonna go ahead and cut now because I need to go get lunch and go handle some other stuff but thank you so much for watching if you want to watch these these are morning shows starting around 10 a.m eastern standard time new york time atlanta time whatever you want to call it all the same thing thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time take care